Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be going over on how to make custom mob bosses part three. So let's get into the video. Alright, so I was thinking, alright, how could I make this more advanced for you guys? So I kinda went in to so this is a little bit more command blocks. Um but it's kind of worth it. So this time I'm going to be showing you guys on how to like put this into your server and stuff. And actually make it fully functional. And uh, it's quite simple and quite easy. I also added another thing to the uh, boss thing. But I'll get to it. So I'm going to show you guys two different um, ways you could add these into your server. One is how to make it automatic. So if you guys want to make it like every five hours or something, it will spawn in. If you guys want to make it uh, where you have to spawn it in manually, uh, you can do it that way. So I'm going to show you the first one, which is how to make it automatic. Uh, it's really quite simple actually so this is actually the system behind it um and yeah so what this one's doing it's just activating the whole system all right so the delaying ticks i just put it at four minutes you can put that to whatever you want obviously um repeating uh this is this should always be always active i put this in need redstone because i was doing the other command one but you can do it that way what this one's doing this one's just putting this back to air this is not, it's saying, what this one's doing, it's saying the mini boss has spawned in the arena. This is killing any existing boss before it, just so there's not, like, two of them. This one is summoning fireworks to kind of give off the location. And then this one is just summoning the zombie. Um, so I'll show this off, actually. Let me get rid of this. Uh, so again, this is super simple. You get yourself a redstone. Block. Bam. Resets it. Mini boss in the arena, and there you guys go. Now, I also added a reward system to this, which I thought was really dope. Um, and to use it, obviously, you just kill the zombie. So what I also did for the zombie, um, you don't have to do this, uh, but I did. I made it so uh, it can't leave its area. As you see, it will end up getting sent back if it goes too far out. You don't have to do this. I recommend doing it, though, just so it doesn't end up going so where let's say you come into the pvp zone it's not like right there just killing you i recommend adding a boundary for it and i'll show you how to do it and it's actually kind of hard to do there's definitely easier ways on how to do it i just kind of did it uh specific i killed it it will say claim your um claim your loot before 30 seconds it says that i killed the boss and then you look in this chest and you're gonna see some stuff you're gonna see boss loot right there and then you're gonna see the sword i gotta hurry this up here so look at that i got the sword if i try taking the glass by the way uh it will not let you take the glass and there you guys go simple as that and that's just how you guys make it automatic you can keep doing the system and whatnot now we're going to be going on how to make it manual so let's say you want to make it where a certain boss will spawn from a certain item you can do that as well for example um let's say so this is called the boss builder right let's say i put in um, let's get myself the egg over here. This is the mini boss egg. I put it in the middle. It will end up spawning it. A boss is summoned. Boom, boom, boom. And then you can just fight it as you go. Now, what's cool about this one is this one will automatically reset itself by when I kill it. Again, it's the same system. Uh, oh, yeah. So, this is actually one of the new things I added. So, uh, I added minions. So, you can kind of... Um, mess around with that if you really want. Minions will spawn. They don't actually have... A, oh, they do have a radius. I didn't think they did. Oh, no. I didn't do it a specific name. Only any zombies in this area will only will get sent back there, pretty much. Alright, let me kill this guy. Alright, boom. Got the reward. Cool. Let's say after 30 seconds, this will end up going back to the Spencer. And the process keeps going. So, to do the reward system, it's actually not that complicated. So, you're going to start off with this down here. So, what this one's first off doing, this one's just clearing the glass. You don't have to have glass. I recommend if you're going to have, like, a placeholder for, like, an item um, to make it look nicer, I would recommend doing that, clearing the item so they don't get it. But, again, it's up to you. You can make it a sellable thing. It's kind of up to you. Uh, so, with these, all these commands, they're just sending any zombie in the radius of two back to the middle of here again you don't have to do that i didn't really do it for this area actually but again completely up to you what do you want to do about this so what this one's doing this one's actually um this is actually the reward system the first part to it so what this one's doing it's testing for the, if there's a zombie um named mini boss in the ra radius of 30 my bad i'm losing speaking and grammar 
Yes. Okay. Um, and then what happens is when it's killed, this will update it, and then this redstone block. Actually, that's meant to be down. But that redstone block will be down, and then this will set a redstone block to somewhere else. And then what this one's doing, this one's just saying that you've killed, it's, it's whoever is closest to this area killed the boss. You can't really make it say specifically who killed the boss, but again, it's kind of up to you. Uh, I added this just in case, you know. And um, that's that. So what that's doing down there, that's setting the redstone block right here. So that's how that works, alright. So for this one, that's this is what it's doing. It's cloning this to there. This is just setting, um, so... This is then setting this right here to error. This is saying claim your loot before 30 seconds. So that's just giving you a warning. And then this one is just actually, um, so 600 is 30 seconds, um, 20 ticks. I meant one tick is 20 seconds. Wait, no. Oh, I'm so tired. I think it's 20 seconds. Wait, one second per 20 ticks. There we go. Um, and now one's just setting that back to air for 30 seconds. But then, if let's say, because that, that would be pretty much it if you guys are doing an automatic system. But let's say you guys are making it where you want it to, like, the boss builder thingy, okay? You're going to add another command from this 600 one. All right, you can, uh, again, customize that. And you don't actually don't need this extra command. I put that there. You can actually just put that right there, but... Um, put this to unconditional, uh, always active, chain, and then just, it's cloning that to that. Actually, no, you do need this one here. So what this is doing, it's setting the chest to air, so none of the items just pop out everywhere, right? Um, so anything that's in there is completely gone. Th what this is doing, the boss builder, is just, you know, setting that there. Alright, so that is that. That's how you do the reward system. Uh, if you want me to make go more in depth so how to make it where it like kind of randomizes so you get randomized loot. If you guys want me to make it where you get like I don't know, something crazy. I will do a part 4 guys. Freaking part 4 if you guys want me to. So what, no, this system is how it kind of works. I don't even know if these are actually all 4. Yeah, they are. So, um, the first one is always going to be always active. It's testing for if this um, mini boss egg in the middle is exactly right there. So, uh, it's cloning or it's testing for the black right above it and then to there. So they're just kind of comparing each other and if it doesn't like it, it will just say they're not identical. Now what this one's doing, it's just saying a boss has summoned, uh, a boss has been summoned. You don't have to put the coordinates I put in there just so uh, people know where the coordinates are if they need to. This is then setting it to air so when the mob spawns it doesn't just interfere, pushes it and stuff. And then this is just summoning the boss there. And then this and this one is just summoning firework again, just to give off the location. That is part three for you guys. Oh yeah, also this is how I did this one over here. Um, if you didn't see my part one or two, make sure you guys go see that, dude. Guys, you won't understand any of this. Um, so I kind of added something to here. Uh, this is just setting that to air. This is then saying minions kill him. That's summoning the zombie. Uh, and those are just summoning them into different areas again. So like one would summon here, eight five thirty two, and then eight five. Uh, I'm at four five thirty two uh, for it there. That's how you guys create this system. It's super simple. Two ways to put them into your server. Make sure you guys do subscribe. Make sure you guys do like. Let's get 50 likes on this video because I know we can do that, guys. Um, my boss series is actually getting pretty popular. So, again, make sure you do subscribe if you're new. We, we're going to be doing um, – I'm doing a new thing on my channel um, where it's going to be called Polls. Um, I have – tons of command ideas like look at all these these are all command videos all those signs are command videos uh for my polls uh i do them every week or two um and yeah make sure you guys subscribe and like and peace